Azure Gleam to war. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers' Academy closed its doors. After ascending the throne, Dimitri labors to bring peace to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. With Edelgard ruling as the Emperor of Adrestia and Claude leading the Leicester Alliance, the three erstwhile schoolmates strike out as the next generation of leaders. A new era is dawning in Fodlan, and much teeters at the brink of great change. The first tremors of a major upheaval rock the land as Edelgard declares war on the Central Church. Pardon my lateness, Your Majesty. You needn't worry, Felix. I know your duties are many. Though, I'm afraid we could not wait for you to begin the discussion. This is about the Empire's declaration of war against the Central Church, yes? Indeed. As you're aware, we have already begun accepting refugees from Garrick Mach. But a few days ago, I received a confidential request from Seteth asking us to protect the higher-ranking members of the Church, including Lady Rhea herself. Of course, we'd only meet this eventuality were Garrett Mock to fall. As it stands, we find ourselves quite literally stuck between the Empire and the Church. I'm not sure how much longer we can remain neutral. If I might, Your Majesty, Troubling as it may be, I believe it prudent for us to reject this proposal from the Church outright. Offering them shelter will only serve to provoke an invasion from the Empire. This matter of the Southern Church concerns me as well, but I believe we have more important matters to be fussing over at the moment. Your counsel is much appreciated, Viscount Elador, but I assure you, Things are not as cut and dry as you make them out to be. The mandate granted to the King of Fargus and all the lords who serve under him is given legitimacy only by the grace of the Church. Are we to renounce the very heart of this kingdom simply because we shudder at the thought of invasion? War will always come at one point or another and some degree of suffering is purely inevitable. You know this as well as I, Viscount. You dare speak of suffering, do you? When the blaze of war will not scorch your lands in the north as it does ours? I would normally agree that those of us from the northern territory should hold less sway in this discussion. But if Garrick Mach were to fall, the war fronts would not halt in the west. Your Majesty, what of House Roe or Galatea, or the others in the South? Not a word from Count Roe as it stands, but I did receive a missive from Count Galatea. It read, My people are not fools enough to rejoice in the surrender of their territories to invaders. There is no morality in turning our backs on the institution at the very foundation of our lives. We must support the Church, as they have supported us. Your Majesty, we owe a great debt to the Central Church for their role in quelling the uprising two years ago. To not repay such generosity in kind would risk weakening the trust of your vassals. And if that happens, we might find ourselves right back in the same mess as before. They lack the crest of Blathid, but there's no small number of nobles who might crawl out of the woodwork claiming royal blood. The kingdom's already seen the turmoil and division such claimants can bring after the death of King Klaus. But Duke Frogdarius, surely we are better served attempting to head off the very real and imminent war at hand instead of debating hypothetical unrest? I don't want my people to suffer the pain of conflict. But does anyone here really think the Empire will simply stop if we appease their every demand? Suppose we do let the Empire take the Archbishop. And suppose we accept this new Southern Church. Then what? 
I imagine the Empire plans to install the Bishop of the Southern Church, Count Varley, in Lady Rhea's place. I fear I've heard nothing good concerning either the man himself or his teachings. They purport to be an arm of the Church of Seros, but the Southern Church is nothing more than a mouthpiece for the Empire at large. In other words, rejecting the Central Church in favor of this new Southern one would be no different from flat-out accepting Imperial rule. It's hard to say just how they would treat our kingdom were such events to unfold. Though I imagine it would involve heavy taxation for the express purpose of bleeding Fargus dry and filling the Imperial coffers. <sighs> Do you have something to add, Duke Fraldarius? Not really, no. I was just wondering how long we were planning to continue this tedious charade. The question's simple. Do we hand over our kingdom and subject ourselves to imperial rule or not? I believe the Margrave has been quite clear as to what will happen if we give in to the Empire's demands. We've all been informed of the rapid reformation their region has undergone. Many aspects of which I admire, I'm not ashamed to say. But an old, stubborn land like ours isn't suited for such tempestuous change. Radical new freedoms are not what the people of Fargus need right now. They need stability, steady improvement in their daily lives, and real, lasting change can only come from a solid foundation. Sounds like your majesty has made up his mind then. Just say the word and we'll leap into action. <clears throat> the Holy Kingdom of Fargus will hereby offer asylum to the Church of Seros. Everyone, sharpen your blades and prepare for the battles ahead. Gustav, Dudu, make to ride at once. Our intentions must be made clear. Not only to the Church and the Empire, but to Count Roe as well, and all the other lords who failed to answer my summons. Understood, Your Majesty. Hey, did you hear? It sounds like we're gonna be going to war with the Empire. Yeah, I'm aware. Ever since His Majesty ascended the throne, we've been fighting battle after battle through every corner of Fargus. But I never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the actual Empire. I'd be nervous if it even felt real. Yeah, I'm not opposed to the war or anything, but I have a weird feeling about this too. <laughs> you uneasy? I didn't even think that was possible. But I suppose you learn something new every day. I can't help but wonder, though. What happens to Fargus now? I feel like things have been steadily improving lately, but not everyone favors His Majesty as I do. Yeah, I hear the grumbles too, but there's not a ruler in the world who doesn't have their fair share of critics, right? All I know is, we wouldn't be where we are now if not for him. I mean, look at me, saddled with some mysterious power we don't know anything about, and he still chose to put his faith in me. It's only right I return the favor in kind. Oh, and speak of the devil. Am I interrupting something? No, of course not. Please, allow me to take my leave. Your Majesty, Commander. So, you heard all that, huh? More or less. I apologize for the interruption, but there's an urgent matter at hand. Anything I can do to help? There is. As you know, we've offered asylum to the Central Church in their efforts to flee the Empire. As such, we are to escort the Archbishop herself to the Royal Capital at once. I expect heavy pursuit from the Imperial forces, so I am assembling a team of those I trust most to assist in the mission. Of course, I'll be leading my own regiment into battle, but I was wondering if you'd be willing to accompany me. What, is that it? I'd be glad to. How are things looking at Garrick Mach while we're on the subject? 
grim. Neither the Knights of Seros nor the Monastery Ramparts are capable of holding off the Empire's massive military might. I dare say we have precious little time to waste. Prepare to deploy at once. So I think I'm supposed to be over here. Dimitri wanted to talk to me. Um, this is a strategist? Sorry, we're still figuring out our strategy. You should go and make your make sure you're fully prepared. All right, I spoke to um er everyone else around here on the camp, well except for Dudu and Dimitri. Vargas has changed. Well, Vargas has changed over these two years, both in the army structure and within the hierarchy of lords. You know what the ruler of Duskar Peninsula. Viscount Clium dealt with. My people have begun moving back to their homes. Will you return to Dusker? Are you gonna go back? No. My place is with His Majesty. From now until the end of time. Yeah, makes sense. Oh yeah, there's also some of these um glowing things over here they're pretty interesting they give some very good lore on the uh, background of the um, of the area <laughs> it's pretty cool yeah um, I will look forward to um, compiling all of it all of them into one video that'd be very nice oh oh yeah I also got an award over here all right sweetheart give it to me well, what have you got how'd it go? Yeah, alright. Oh, okay. Yo, let's go. I've been waiting for you. Ah. I was waiting for you, Silk. Allow me to explain our plan of action. How about this? Let us first look at this map. one of the territories we are preparing to march from our camp which is located here once we are ready we will advance to ALL the Valley of Torment and rendezvous with Lady Rhea oh same, same thing like last time however we have received reports of bandits disturbing the peace in that area there you have it. we will need to strike them down and restore order for us to proceed safely You must not let your guard down, no matter who we face. Do make sure you are fully prepared for what lies ahead. For instance, you have had the chance to use the training grounds or browse the marketplace yet? I implore you. There are facilities where you can improve your weapons and prepare for battle. Be sure to make use of them. Here you can train your body and mind and gain proficiency in new classes. Never hurts to be prepared. I'm sure I'll be seeing you often. Let's re level up, alright. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. We've definitely got some work to do. What you got for me? Welcome! Take a glander at our wonders weapons! Welcome! Oh, that's pretty cool. We got some of good stuff over here. Oh, this is a... Uh, gifts I can give people. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. Look, I know I'm crashing my bank account over here, but listen. I got money saved up. I'm good. See, look, instantly. Instantaneously! I love that I can just fast travel around like that it's good I'm responsible for dueling out our merchant orders give me a shout if you want to deploy for battle okay so this What's is where I deploy for battle okay 
From the war map, you can select the battlefield to go. Blue regions are already captured, and red are available to be captured. Okay. Oh, hold on, we got an award over here. Well, how'd it go? Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is where I can... I also forgot I can level up as well. By paying for it. <laughs> and this is boosting, alright. Heck yeah. Okay. Let's get them all up at least to a uh, favorable degree. With proper training, you'll be training can be the difference. Kinda don't like how I have to uh talk to them unfortunately. But hey, you know that's what I gotta do. Will this help me grow stronger? Oh, hold up, we got support conversations. Okay. I don't know, not the achievement section. Let's Yes. Yes. Hey, did you hear? We rounded up the last stragglers from House Climate. Yeah, and brought destruction raining down on one of their villages in the process. Of course, it was partially their fault for mustering an army, but I can't believe His Majesty would allow such meaningless slaughter. Something on your mind? If you object to their idle gossip, it would behoove you to speak up. No, it's just... I don't really know what Dimitri was thinking either. It's almost like he's built a wall around himself, ever since the day he killed his uncle. My apologies, but could I ask you to join Gustav in keeping an eye on things here for the next few days? Sure, you going somewhere? Kinda surprised Dudu and Rodrigue aren't joining you. The two of them recently departed for Dusker. They have their own duties to attend to. Then why don't I join you? I've got more free time these days than I know what to do with. Offering to work during your well-deserved time off is not as praiseworthy as you believe it to be. <laughs> You're one to talk. I suppose you have a point. <sighs> Very well. I'll take you up on your offer. The journey will not be a pleasant one, but your assistance will surely prove valuable. I was wondering where we were going. This is the village that was wiped out during our recent battle. Hold on. You're not planning to bury the dead by yourself, are you? It's not really a job for a king. Perhaps not. Yet a resting place is all I am capable of offering them now. Were it possible, I would not have let this village lose a single brave soul. I never intended to see them incinerated by the all-consuming flames of this war. But as the one who authorized our battle strategy, I alone am culpable for their deaths. It's not like you made the decision lightly, though. You discussed it for hours with Rodrigue and the others. Even so, no means can possibly excuse these ends. No amount of justification will bring back the lives that were lost here. True. And no matter how hard you fight for a better outcome, there's no guarantee you'll actually achieve it. No. I cannot shut my eyes to the cruelty my actions have wrought. Yet, if I do not claim this battle, and its aftermath to be just and proper, my soldiers will lose faith in me. How long must this horrible cycle continue? Don't be like that, Dimitri. I'm sure people will understand if you just tell them the whole story. There's no need for that. This burden is mine to bear, and mine alone. Leave everything you have on this battle. Now, all units, move out! 
Stay strong. We can win this. Think twice before taking any rash action. There is no return from the realm of the dead. Yeah, if we lose all our units, they're dead forever. That would be very, very, very bad. <laughs> we lost all of our units here. Ah, oh, where's that other guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. I was looking for him. Okay. Okay, there we go. And... Bam, you're still not dead yet. Wait, hold up. Uh... No, I think I think we should be fine by ourselves. All right, Dimitri. And Dimitri has Aragorn. Oh my gosh! Yes, Dimitri. Yes. Oh yes. Okay, let's go. All right, now organize over here, Felix. I'll do what I can. It's I need you to shot. go up there, and then I myself will go right this. up there. Let's begin. And Dudu, I should probably. Wait, Dudu, Dudu, Dudu. I kind of wish there was a way to actually lock in on them. Oh, which one you wanted? Oh yes, Dimitri. Oh yes, yes. Here we go. And bam. Oh yes. Oh yes, Dimitri. Let's go, my boy. Oh, side mission? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Yes! Kill every last one of them! Oh, yeah, boy! This strength will ensure nobody dies a needless death. I refuse to hold back! You won't stop me! Time to make a name for ourselves. Restorative in order. Think I'm in trouble here. Hold on. Hold on, my friend. Hold on, myself. You're fine. <laughs> let, me, let me just deal with this here. Yeah, we're gonna defeat all these brawlers. Dimitri, kill the last one of them. Done for. The rest is up to you. Time to make a name for ourselves. Defeat the main brawler and claim victory. Oh boy. But I have provided but success. All right, critical hit. Kill every last one of them. Yes, don't tire yourself out, boy. The strongholds ours. And dead. Yes. 
I'm not getting any good points over here because, uh, unfortunately, uh, I've taken way too much damage. At least I can be able to redo these over again. Each win brings us closer to our goal. We've determined the Archbishop's course, Your Majesty. She makes for the Valley of Torment. Then she's fleeing north, to Fargus. There is also, of course, a passage to Daphnal territory within the Alliance. But I surmise you are correct. She surely makes for the kingdom. If Fargus has chosen to side with the Central Church, it stands to reason they'll mobilize their forces to escort the Archbishop. If they do rendezvous with her and manage to retreat to the kingdom, our one chance will be lost. Yes. We cannot let her slip through our grasp. I will see to it myself that we don't. Your Majesty, I will need a squadron well equipped for pursuit if I am to accomplish this task. One such as the Brigid Hunters. Given our considerable losses during the suppression of Garrig Mach, a smaller unit would be preferable for this undertaking. Petra's unit? Very well. Take anyone you think could prove useful to your efforts. If we can capture the Archbishop, the tides of this war will turn drastically in our favor. Agreed, Your Majesty. As for you, gather the others. We must discuss what to do about the Kingdom. Right away, Your Majesty. Oh, what's this over here? Crude building material. Okay. There's also a shop over here. Okay. Hey, thank you very much. Alright. Oh, so, do you have a moment? Oh, hello, Rodrigue. What's up, my man? At your service. I apologize for stealing you away at such a busy time, but I have a request. The truth is, we're lacking in hands to help with tasks around the camp. Would you mind volunteering? The chore master is ready to direct anyone who wishes to volunteer. I can help volunteer around the camp? Okay. Hey. At least we're getting some of uh, seen the facilities around here, yeah? I'm looking for volunteers to help around the camp. We all need to chip in to make life here as pleasant as possible. I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. Stuck with you again? Fine, let's get this over with. Indeed. We should finish this quickly for both <laughs> of our sakes. Ugh. What do you expect? That was child's play. And yet... No. We can leave it at that. I appreciate the help today, Felix. Oh, yes. Oh, if you increase the uh, morale in the camp, they do more damage. That's pretty cool. You have my gratitude. Great work, so we wouldn't have done it without you. Hmm, your face tells me you're hungry. Yeah, I am hungry. Felix, show Soap where the mess hall is. You said you're feeling peckish as well, right? What? What? Why do I have... Fine, whatever. You have any preferences, Soap? Hmm. I make my own food, so... Hmm. That was back when you were a merc. But fine, I guess I'll have to see how good your cooking is. Help yourself to our food reserves. Just don't go wasting them. Is he going to give us food poisoning, Your Majesty? I don't want to find out. 
Yeah, the flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. This reminds me of my youth. The days I spent with Glenn and my father. Oh, thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? The Moon Maker. <laughs> Activity points, just like in uh, the regular game. Wow. I'm surprised you can make something this good with ingredients of Fargus. I bet the others enjoyed it too. I'm sure though that'll go a long way to gaining their trust. Throwing in a few gifts wouldn't help either. That's just common sense. Not that not stuff like that works on me, mind you. But anyway, you probably picked up on things in the battlefield, right? Well. Maybe you could try giving someone a gift. People like that sort of thing. Hmm. That's true. Maybe I should give something to Dimitri. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a dagger. Dimitri likes combat. High quality weapons, strength training, going for long rides, and physically laborious work. He dislikes delicate work, fragile objects, scorching heat, and the selfish people. It's a bonding dagger. Thank you. Well, that makes me. That sure kept me busy. Maybe we should head out to the next battlefield soon. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna leave it off here for now. But thank you for watching, everybody. Come back next time. That was. Yeah, that was. This is a good introduction to the uh, facilities. Next time, we're gonna be heading to another battlefield. So until then, everybody, stay fresh and have yourselves a damn good day. So until then, everybody, stay fresh and have yourselves a damn good day.